Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. Today, we are going to take a look at the Admiral Gorshkov, which is known to be Russia's deadliest frigate to date. For more information on this frigate, don't go anywhere and stay tuned. The frigate is one of the most essential components of naval power. Throughout years, the frigate has been transformed from its origin as the warship nations build to solidify their naval fleet. With the advancement of technology, the frigate also faced significant transformation in shape, ability, features, as well as function in general. To date, the frigate remains to serve Superpower's fleet as an effective combatant in the battlefield. Since the Cold War, the Soviet Union was commonly known to have a strong land power, as opposed to the United States, who was exclusively claimed to be the greatest naval power. However, that period when the Russians seemed to be less interested in developing robust warships has gone. The country reportedly owns the world's most advanced and deadliest frigate, the Admiral Gorshkov. The Admiral Gorshkov class of frigates, commonly known as Project 22350, is Russia's newest frigate class. The ship was built in St. Petersburg by the Savernaya Verf and are successors of the Neustrashimi and Krivik classes. Gorshkov class frigates are meant to be capable in multi-thread environments and are complemented with long-range surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missiles, along with the capability of attacking multiple targets simultaneously. What about the features of this frigate? First of all, with an overall length of 130 meters and a beam of 16 meters, the ship has operational ranges of more than 4,500 nautical miles and a displacement of 4,550 tonnage. Not only that, Admiral Gorshkov also boasted to be able to accommodate 200 crew members with the maximum speed of 30 knots. For the armaments, Admiral Gorshkov class are equipped with a new 130mm gun mount, a close-in weapon system Seawiz, and 8 SS NX-26 Yakont anti-ship cruise missiles. This type of missile is known to be capable of being launched against a group of naval, surface, and single vessels. Other weapon systems include a Medvedka 2 anti-submarine warfare ASW and a Hurricane medium-range surface-to-air defense missile system in addition to advanced torpedo tubes. What's more, Gorshkov is the only Russian combat vessel to be attached with BrahMos missiles, which is famous for being supersonic cruise missiles having a range of 180 miles, which was developed through a collaboration of Russia and India in BrahMos aerospace program. The BrahMos missile is allegedly capable of hitting ground and sea targets while cruising at an altitude as low as 10 meters with the speed of Mach 2.8, surprisingly three times faster than the US-made subsonic Tomahawk cruise missile. On the other side, the frigates are also equipped with combined gas turbine and gas turbine Kogag propulsion systems, which are noted to be more efficient than combined diesel and gas propulsion systems. The Kogag system which Gorshkov employs would deliver more economical transit at cruise speeds. The frigates will also feature an aft flight deck and hangar to carry sophisticated Ka-26 and 27 helicopters, which would be fitted with radar systems that allow submarines to be tracked. On top of that, according to a recent news, Russia also has launched its brand new hypersonic missile Zircon from the Admiral Gorshkov at a target in the Barents Sea as a part of completion of tests. Considering how advanced these specifications and weapons are for a single military vessel, and given that the ship is a frigate, the features and capabilities built for Admiral Gorshkov are remarkably astounding. The Admiral Gorshkov class has more than the necessary equipment to defeat submarines, planes, and, of course, other hostile ships. And, although it's not a destroyer, the ship has many of the same capabilities as such destroyers, which will be undoubtedly lethal for the other naval power. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.